n is equal to the integral from m is integral in b. So we have this integral from 0 to 1, 1 plus x square over 1 plus x to the power 4 dx. So at the first side, uh, we see that this is somehow similar with uh, those formulas in beta gamma function uh, like this, x to the power m minus 1 by 1 plus x to the power m plus n dx. So we see that uh, this is somehow similar to these formulas. So this was from 0 to infinity and this was equals to a beta of m command. Okay, so we see that uh, this can be taken in this form. So though the limits are from 0 to 1, but we have other formula too. Integral from 0 to 1, uh, integral from 0 to 1, x to the power m minus 1 plus x to the power n minus 1 by 1 plus x to the power m plus n. This is also equals to beta m comma n. And if we thus separate these two, and if we want just single term as well, integral from 0 to 1, x to the power m minus 1 by 1 plus x to the power m plus 1 d m plus n dx. So this one will also be equals to half of beta m comma n. So we see that uh, we can uh, use some of these functions uh, by just replacing x to the power 4 by y and just separating uh, these into two different integrals and whatever comes in the numerator it's somehow in the form x to the power m minus 1 and you can th use these so this is the first idea we get about this integral and that's the correct idea we will use that's the same idea over here to solve this integral so let's see how do we do that okay so first of all we substitute y as x to the power 4 then we have y to the power 1 by 4 equals to x and we differentiate both sides 1 by 4 y to the power minus 3 by 4 dy is equals to dx so now we use the substitution in this integral and we get the following integral from 0 to 1 1 plus y to the power 1 by 2 since y is x to the power 4 so x square is just square root of y uh, 1 plus y and dx is 1 by 4 i'm um, sorry for that 1 by 4 uh, y to the power minus 3 by 4 dy is our dx okay now we can take the constants out from the integral 1 by 4 out integral from 0 to 1 this is y to the power minus 3 by 4 uh, plus y to the power so I'm not quite sure about why this happens okay y to the power and uh, when you multiply this with y to the power 1 by 2 we get y to the power minus 1 by 4 so we multiplied y to the power minus 3 by 4 with numerator dy by 1 plus y these are separate things yeah okay so we have got this now now we will try to take it into the formula of beta gamma functions so if we try to uh, break them or take them into the form of m minus 1 n minus 1 so we see that here uh, in the numer sorry it's not x it's y in the numerator uh, the m and n just sum up to 1 so you will see that uh, the, uh, the y, y to the power minus 3 by 4 is 1 by 4 minus 1 and y to the power minus 1 by 4 is 3 by 4 minus 1 and uh, these two uh, things m and n also sum up to 1 that's what in the numerator so we are directly into one of the standard formulas of beta gamma function okay so we will be using this formula integral from 0 to 1 x to the power m minus 1 plus x to the power n minus 1 by 1 plus x to the power n plus n so now we'll use this formula and this integral is just beta of m comma n so this will be 1 by 4 times um, beta of 1 by 4 comma 3 by 4 
now we will read our functions beta of m comma n is just gamma m gamma n by gamma of m comma n sorry m plus n so oh i just wrote gamma n instead of 3 by 4 hmm, i'll just erase this So that's 3 by 4. Now this is 1 by 4 times gamma 1 by 4, gamma 3 by 4. So if, uh, to evaluate this product, uh, we can use a formula from gamma function that gamma n and times gamma of 1 minus n is just pi by sine of n pi. So we'll use this formula from gamma function evaluate this and so that will be pi over sine of pi by 4 1 by 4 pi and gamma 3 by 4 plus gamma 1 by 4 is just gamma 1 and we know that uh, for whole natural numbers gamma n is just n minus 1 factorial so this will be 0 factorial which is 1 and uh, uh, pi by sine pi by 4 will be 1 by root 2 and the 0 factorial was 1 okay and now this will be uh, 4 is just 2 times root 2 times root 2 so we get when we cancel one of the root 2's we get pi by 2 root 2 as our answer so you see that uh, this integration was merely the application of beta gamma function and nothing else so when we just made uh, this substitution uh, it was quite decipherable about how we should proceed and that wasn't really hard for MIT integration B for the repetition it has okay so this was pi by 2 root 2 I hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and if you like it do share with your friends see you next time